click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. When Mamun passed away, Mu'tasim became the caliph. Imam Jawad left for Medina, but Mu'tasim wanted to keep an eye on the Imam and observe his actions. So he ordered that Imam Jawad be brought to Baghdad, and from here, a new turning point in Imam Jawad's life began. Although the Imam was in his youth, he displayed his divine knowledge and status which initiated jealousy in others. People used to go to Caliph Mu'tasim and say good and bad things about the Imam. And among them, Ibn Abi Dawood was a famous judge of Baghdad. O oh judge, tell me when a thief confesses his theft, from where should we cut off his hands? O commander of the faithful, the hands of the thief should be cut off from the elbow. What evidence do you have for this claim? God says in the Quran about ablution. Wash your hands up to the elbows. Then the thief's hands should be cut to the elbow. Good. Now you tell, what is your opinion? O oh my master, the hands of the thief should be cut off to the palm. Why only the palm? Can you prove it? Because hand means fingers and palm. Because the Lord says about ablution, rub with your hands, which means fingers and palms. Mu'tasim turned to the Imam and said, What is your opinion about this? The Imam said, Others have presented their views to you, and now there is no need for my advice. I don't care about the opinions of others. In this case, what is your opinion? Forgive me for commenting on this. I swear you to God that please express your opinion in this matter. Now that you have sworn to me by God, know that all these people have stated the wrong command. Only the fingers of the thief's hand should be cut off, not more than this should be cut off at all. What evidence do you have for that? Imam Jawad said, God says about prostration, that a person should perform prostration on seven parts of his body. Two hands are included in these seven parts. So if the hands are cut up to the palm or elbow, then the prostration will be invalid. Therefore, it should not be cut. This statement is logical and correct. Well done. Well done. Only thief's fingers should be cut. Well done. Ibn Abi Dawood and other wise men were surprised to hear this and wished that the earth would swallow them whole as they felt disrespected in front of Mu'tasim. Then Ibn Abi Dawood, who had jealousy and envy in his heart for the Imam, came to the service of Mu'tasim alone and said, O oh my master, I want to give you a piece of advice even though it will actually make me a buyer of the fire of hell. What do you want to say? You had gathered wise people and scholars in a meeting, and asked them for their views on the issue, and then you got your answer from a young man. Some people claim about his imamate and say, that he is the successor and divinely appoint imam, which is direct threat to you. When Mu'tasim found out about this, his cheeks turned pale and he thanked Ibn Abi Dawood for his advice and then ordered that Imam Jawad be brought back to the capital. 
The Imam initially denied this claim, but they insisted. And then they poisoned the Imam in the same meeting. After some time, the Imam was martyred.